Okay, so a viewer has asked if I'd do a video on how to set up um, Visual Studio Code and the Commodore 64 debugger um, so that you can develop your own assembly programs um, the way I do. So I thought I'd make a quick video demonstrating how to do that. Now, I develop on a Mac, um, so just thinking through here, the, these yeah will be applicable to, to Windows as well and, and Linux. Um, but you'll have to do your own, you know, if you, if you use those systems, Windows or, or Linux, um, you'll need to vary things accordingly. So this is just going to focus on, you know, on, I'm doing it on a Mac because that's what I have to hand. So here are at the Kick Assembler website. A Kick Assembler is the assembler that I use that plugs into Visual Studio Code that outputs, um, it turns the assembly into a binary that the Commodore 64 emulator that can then run or the debugger. And it, Automatically, once it's set up, it'll automatically you can automatically assemble and launch the code in the debugger from Visual Studio Code, so it makes it quite an easy um, development cycle. So, to find this website, this is what it should look like as of the, the date of this video. This is the latest version of Kick Assembler, so just Google Kick Assembler and it's um, the one at the web.dk and it will look just like this. So, Kick Assembler version 5.24 is currently the latest one and this is the link that you need download kick assembler so I'm going to click that oh, do you want to allow it to happen yes and there we go it's downloaded into my downloads folder so I'm going to open up a terminal which you would do however you like you know but you can do this way hit enter um, it automatically unpacks the zip file for me so if I cd into kick assembler have a look. Yeah, we can see it's already unzipped in its own folder. And the the, the file that we're interested in really here is the kickass.jar. It's the Java executable. Um, you will also need the Java runtime environment installed. And there is a link to link to that on the Kick Assembler website. So um, I won't be covering that, but you know, this video will assume that you've already got that installed, but you'd click the link, go through the install process for that. Okay, so we've got Kick Assembler downloaded. We're in the Kick Assembler folder after unzipping the zip file. Um, what we're going to do is copy that. <clears throat> what we're going to do is copy that into somewhere that is pathed so that it could be executed easier. Okay, so this is Visual Studio Code, and it's available on Mac, Windows, and Linux. Um, it's pretty much the same editor on 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 any, on any platform, so um, it should be familiar, you know, whichever version you're using. When we come to looking at the settings in a minute, your paths will be slightly different on different operating systems. Um, but you should be able to work out what they should be. You know, it's fairly straightforward. So what I want to do is click here to get up the extensions, search for Kickass. I've already got it installed, but if you didn't, this is the one that I use, the one you're looking for, Kickass C64 by Captain Jinx. And when you haven't got it installed, you have a little blue uh, button with white install written on it. So you'd click that to install it. Then you want to click the cog and go to extension settings. And you will need to have downloaded the C64 debugger. If you just Google that, you'll find it. It comes packaged with, um, I think it's a C65 and a NES debugger. Um, so yeah, when you Google it, it'll be one of the top results, C64 debugger. And also you want the Vice emulator installed as well so that you can choose which one that you use. Once they're installed, I say installed, just unpacked and put wherever you want. Mine's on the desktop so you can see this is the full path to it for me, the C64 debugger binary. Users, username, that should actually have a username in it. And um, desktop, I've just got it in a folder called C6465XC NES debugger, blah, 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 on my desktop. And then and that's the full path to it. Um, this should just say Java in there because that should be accessible just by typing Java in a terminal. We know it'll execute. We've tested that already. Here's the full path to the kickass.jar where I copied it to, which is use a local bin to put it somewhere that was pathed. Now I want to run or debug and run with the C64 debugger. Once I'm happy with something, I'll then load up Vice and, and run it in that, you know, if I want it to look just like a C64. But whilst I'm working on something, the debugger is very useful because you can pause the state, step through it. Um, instruction by instruction to find out any problems or any quirks, anything that's not working out quite right. 
and down here is the full path um, similar to the debugger binary but to the bias emulator okay so once you've got those set you can close that and you can get to work on creating your first um, C64 assembly program and seeing if it works. Okay, so let's make sure everything's working and uh, just create, create and run a very simple uh, Commodore 64 assembly program. So I'm going to press Command N, helps if I select it, Command N, and you can just start typing to get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is set the memory address on the Commodore 64 where I want program to, to be. So it's 1000 hex, which translates into 4096 hexadecimal. Why I'm telling you that will become clear shortly. So we do that. And then what we're going to do, we're going to have a main loop label. And then in that, we are going to increment memory location D020. We're going to decrement D021, and then we are going to jump to the main loop. Lovely. Now let's save that. I'm going to just call it test, test prog. There we go. Right, and it's now, because it's an assembly file, I put the ASM extension, it, it now recognizes that it's assembly language, and it's, um, it's just coloured certain things here, coloured the instructions, you know, differently, and uh, which is nice. It is helpful later when you've got lots of code to look at to be able to pick out things a, a bit easier. But anyway, if I press F5 now, so it loads the debugger. Ah, and nothing. That is loaded into memory, so that hexadecimal 1000 becoming decimal 4096 means we type sys 4096 press enter there we go it's a little too uh, much to see on this screen here but up here you can see what we're doing is we're um, incrementing the values of the uh, color for the border and the and the and the page and it executes very very quickly quicker than the, um, the screen can be redrawn in fact which is why it looks like lots of different little lines but there you go, so we know it's installed and it works. Hurrah! Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.